Might be working, might be working. Let's take a look. Hands down, the best product I've seen all Commercials? I get commercials? Far out. Hey, 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 hey. Let's see. Let's see if we're live. It says we're live. Felipe's on there. Holy sh I don't see myself on there. Hold on. All I see is a blank screen. Let me see if I can reload. Oh, let's see. Boom. Shakalaka. No picture? I can see your guys' comments. Is there no picture? It says live. What's my plan for this weekend? I don't know yet, but hey, are you guys getting the live picture? Because I'm not getting the picture on this end. You know, technical difficulties. I'm here and queer, Dave. Oh, that's <laughs> that's hilarious. You're a vampire. What? Let me see if I need to hit the play button. What's going on, man? Yeah. Oh, there is something there. All right. It was waiting for me to hit a prompt. Let's see if I get in there now. Okay. Let's see. Am I in there? Am I in there now? Hey! Hey, 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 hey! hey. It's cold in here, man. Old man Winter showed back up. There it is! He's never used a vacuum pump or nitrogen rig. Looking at you while he's smoking sick. All right, can you guys see me now? Early gets the boss's ear. I am live, NorCal, live stream. Super Tech, <laughs> Super Tech live stream. Hey, Shine's in the house. What's up, Shine? It is NorCal Dave live stream Friday. You never know when he's going to do them. We had the day off today from the day job. But we did a little NorCal's. Ah, cheers. It's good Friday. Let's see what's going on in the world of HVAC. When you get your contractor's license in California, you get this rag. Indoor comfort news. Felipe probably has that in the mailbox. Um, oh, look at Felipe. Let's go Dodgers. Screw the Dodgers, man. Go Giants. Look who I got up here. I got a new one for you guys, but you can't see it because I got the lighting all weird. But here, let me get my light. Here's one for the Dodger scum. Look at who's that right there? Timmy Lincecum, 2010. That's the actual metal press for the newspaper I got from my old man. Lincecum, he was a Dodger slayer. Good old Timmy. Let Timmy smoke. That was the t-shirt. Timmy liked to get smoke weed. And they had the t-shirts back then. Weed wasn't legal yet. And it was all let Timmy smoke. And he'd smoke the Dodgers all the time. Yep, back HVAC nose. Yeah, that's the Timmy Lynch come. And it's got all the 2010 Giants on it. That's really cool piece of memorabilia right there. I just put that up this week. Um, now, the Dodgers are loaded. It's going to be fun watching them choke out in the playoffs like they always do with that big payroll, so that'll be good. Um, look at this. First thing you get inside of here. Electrification is here to stay. Everything's going electric. Decarbonization. Oh, yeah. Shine, Shine likes Philly. Eagles are reloading. The NFL is going to be great next year. All the teams will be good. Yeah, they're going to go for all this electrical... Electrification bullcrap. 
it says here Arch. Arch raises 6.2 million to boost heat pump adoption. So they're trying to make everybody go to heat pumps. I think it's a big waste. So I have like a a solar generator for like when the power goes out with some extra batteries. And here's my test. You try and run a little electric heater off that thing, it'll suck down three monster batteries in no time. So going from gas heat to electric, and you're not going to sell me on it. It shines all the Phillies lost today. Giants play at 640. It's 311 here. Blow the grid, baby. So this company, Arch, a company with a data intelligence platform for HVAC contractors. It's raised $6.2 million in seed funding from a bunch of investors and whatnot. And it enables contractors to quickly analyze homes, optimize heat pump systems, and will soon include savings calculations. So, they want to get electric heat pumps or outselling gas furnaces as consumers navigate roller coaster energy prices and increasingly freaking frequently heat waves and take advantage of federal state and utility incentives the technology cools and heats with significantly lower lower carbon emissions compared to traditional air conditioning and furnaces that rely on fossil fuels so i think it's a bunch of bullshit um basically what they're trying to tell you is yeah you're gonna have less emissions because you don't have spent gas going into the atmosphere right from your gas furnace but here in California, you try you try looking at your electric bill. If you took my house, where we don't have air conditioning, my gas furnace runs for maybe 20 minutes. The whole house is warm, shuts off, it ain't running again. And you try and do that same heating with a heat pump, my electric bill would probably go from 120 a month to probably $350, $400. And that's, they, they, I don't care what your computer says. So you could feel good about not burning some gas. I don't know, man. It says they're trying to... Uh, where was that paragraph at? This was crazy. Uh, rewiring America's analysis suggests that the Inflation Reduction Act, the IRA can provide American households with an average of $10,600 for full electrification saving, saving them an average of $1,800 a year in this energy bill. It says, uh, says they, want, they want to install 20 million residential heat pumps by 2030. 20 million heat pumps by 2030. Someone's going to get rich off of this deal. The the uh, utility companies, whoever these guys are getting backed, and whichever contractors they work with, it's going to be heat pump, heat pump, heat pump. You're going to take a gas furnace that consumes 5 amps or less and change it to an electrical heat kit that's going to consume at least 42 amps minimum. Shannon Knight, you are the winner of the night. Winner, winner! That is absolutely correct. Yeah, there's there's no way. It's already happened out here. So there's one contractor in town that's already telling the customers that you can't replace a gas furnace, which is a total lie. And then they're trying to sell them um, heat pumps. And... The uh, their electric bills are through the roof and they're bummed, they're mega bummed. And I think I've said it on here before where my buddy went out there and they're all, Hey, we can't change out gas furnaces anymore. We got we got to put you in a heat pump, it's 32 grand. We can start tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see what Matt said. 
None talks about all the additional refrigerant heat pumps will add to the world global warming potential. That's true. They're hell-bent to decarbonize. My day job, they're going to drop $700 million in 20 years. That's their budget. $700 million in 20 years to decarbonize. And it is priority uno, number one. Once we all go electric, PG&E will jack up the electric bill. They already have back HVAC. It's already going up. And then they're going to guilt trip everybody that you're burning fuel at winter. It's so funny. Power bill's going through the roof. Yep. And I don't even I don't even burn in summertime. I don't have air conditioning. So I'm not running heat or air in summer. And depend well the last two winters the heaters ran more than it's ran in probably 5 years. We actually had some real winters. It's got cold today. That's why I'm in the flannel. But yeah, I, I tried to heat the garage up a little bit. I was like, well, let's run a test. I got my little electric space heater that's pretty economical. It, in eco mode, it was still pulling 11, 1,100 watts. And it heated up the space pretty quick. But it drained three. I got the Blue Yeti AC200 Max with the two expanded batteries. And it was sucking it down pretty damn quick. If you had to heat with that, you don't have any way to recharge it it's going to suck those batteries dry quick now i could get a propane heater you can get the ones that don't asphyxiate you you know like the mr buddy mr buddy heater with the two propane cans you just get way more efficiency first they got to keep the power from being turned off yep so and then there was another one in here where the DOD, where the Department of Energy is going to green lake the ASHRAE updated energy standards, standard 90.1-2022, which it's actually basically in a nutshell, they're going to make commercial buildings try to get net negative. So I think commercial buildings are going to have to have solar and stuff to offset their power consumption. But we all knew that was coming. That's I'm cool with that. You got a big commercial building with the giant roof, panel it out. Try and get as much as you can out of it. But other than that, there's just a bunch of stuff in here. How you're going to get your money back off your SEER rating. Estimating lifetime savings with a higher SEER air conditioner. If I had to put an AC on my house, I'd probably go high SEER. And then there was one thing in here that looked like the future that might work. And I was like, Mitsubishi's done it again because those dudes are pretty damn smart. Let me find that one. This would probably work. Let me find this. But you need to probably get in there and figure out how you could override the controls yourself. Where did I put that at? Here it is. Welcome to Hybrid HVAC in Teleheat. Mitsubishi. So you got your outdoor heat pump. You get this coil. It can go on your gas furnace. So that's the indoor coil. And it's got the controller. And it can go between your gas heat and your heat pump. Let you guys see that. Now this setup will work. Mitsubishi IntelliHeat. But if you can get into the controls and override it so you can burn your gas more than your electric heat pump. I think you'd be way ahead of the game. So your furnace is running more. It's probably... The way it's set up, it's probably got the controls as if it only gets super cold outside, then it's going to switch over to gas. But there's hope. So you could still have your gas furnace, throw this throw this coil on your gas furnace, and then pipe it to your, to your condensing unit outside. And then hopefully the condensing unit's an inverter. Single and multi-zone options. I think that that would be probably something to look into. Oh, yeah. The outdoor units, yeah, they're the inverters for sure. Yep, that would probably do it as best as you could. I didn't see any electric strip. There'll be no electric stri um, supplemental heat strips in that because you have the gas furnace. So that's probably an option. When it needs to go to stage two, it brings on the gas furnace. It's just coffee tonight. Come on. I've been quite boring on the live streams for a while now. We had a drunken bender live stream. 
Oh man, not tonight. Uh, Roger Gregory's in the house. Watch up. What's up, Roger? My only ever sponsor. Uh, reminds me of the green Bosch system. That Bosch system was crap. I don't think it ever worked for for dehumidification. But I this the Mitsubishi will the Mitsubishi will work for sure. That Bosch was supposed to be the the home run, and I think all those guys in the Carolinas and wherever else where it's real humid, I don't think that thing panned out. Dave, what do you think of geothermal heat pumps? Absolutely. Geothermal heat pumps would work great. You got the ground for your condenser or your evaporator, depending on which season you're in. Totally. But to decarbonize and getting rid of gas for heat, I just it's just a bummer. I don't think we're gonna get away from it. They're they're gonna they're gonna hit this hard. It and I know for sure for new construction going down the pipe. They're probably going to hit it real hard where they're not even going to run gas pipes. And I wonder how much of it is from when, so in California and San Bruno years ago, the PG&E gas lines underground didn't get maintained, but all the CEOs got their bonus money. And it blew up and it killed like three generations of people that lived in their homes. Like some, it got grandma, mom, and the daughter, and they passed away and it was terrible. And it blew up city blocks. And I think pg es out on that is, oh, screw maintaining these gas lines that are underground from 70 years ago. Let's just get rid of gas. And I think that has a lot to do with it. And then they rolled in the uh, the carbon footprint crap. Um, and I'm not an anti-green guy by no means. Hey, if... If there was a magic bullet tomorrow, I would drive an electric work van. You know, if this fusion or fission or whatever, and there's nuclear power plants or whatever, however they do it, why not? Right now, we don't have it. And the way I see it is it's all toys for rich kids. You know, electric car, 80 grand, solar panels on your house, you know, with battery backup, 80 grand. You know, working man doesn't have that kind of money. So... You know, see what happens when it happens. But the good news is, also in here I saw, so I'm not, I'm not hitting the panic switch yet. Where did I see this? There was all kinds of discounts for high efficiency gas stuff in Southern California. I should read this for Felipe. Maybe Felipe could get some discounts from his utilities down there in Southern California. Where is that? Where was that? There's a whole slew of discounts. Let me find it. Let me find it. Must have been towards the front here. So, I don't think they're going to... I think where houses already have existing gas, we're in the clear. Oh, yeah, here we go. Southern California Gas. Residential rebate program. SoCal Gas offer, offers customers rebates on the installation of qualifying high-efficiency appliances. Up to $4,500 rebate on Energy Star certified solar thermal water heater and with natural gas backup. So the gas ain't going away yet. Up to $1,200 rebate on qualifying Energy Star certified natural gas tankless water heaters. All right. $1,000 rebate on Energy Star certified natural gas furnaces. Now I wonder what furnaces those are. $1,000 rebate? It's going to be a 90 percenter, probably two-stage modulating, super-duper modulator. But still, a thousand bucks off is a thousand bucks off if you do your own install. And you get $75 off of high-efficiency natural gas storage water heaters. You know, like the basic water heaters. So, that's not PG&E, that's SoCal gas. So that's different than where I'm at up north. But, the gas ain't going away. But they're, they're, they're pushing for it. HVACR Realist says, Dave is, the, is a beast on refrigeration. Oh, yeah. Gabriel's Air. Mitsubishi is the best. They are the best. I like the Mitsubishi stuff a lot. Tito's in the house. Local 39. An employee or not agreeing on a contract. Strike talk is starting to come emails pray for us dave well tito i was 2019 we went on strike and i was on the bargaining team and check this out you can look this up we got a state law passed one of our members had a kid going through cancer treatment 
and the UC regents were going to take away our health care while we were on strike. And my union has asked me $32.99. They had the legislators write up a bill that you can't take away the union members' health care while they're on strike. They were going to do that to us. And it pretty much broke our picket line. They didn't know it, but we were going to cave. We had guys that just they couldn't live without their health insurance. So, for the obvious reasons, they passed that bill and Newsom signed it. So, they can't take away your health your health care, Tito. You could tell all your membership. That was for my guys, 70 guys at UCSE. We did that. And uh, with our union, we got that bill passed through the state of California. But we got offered, we're getting offered a pretty good deal. We're out of contract right now. We're in negotiations. And we got offered, even in a crappy economy, I think it's the most we've ever been offered. There's still a few a few points behind where we'd like to be. And we're waffling. I think we're at impasse. And we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get a, a couple more pumps out of the kickstand. See what happens. It's not fun when you gotta go on strike and you don't get paid for a few weeks. It's not fun. And then my thing is, too, how, how many more percentage points do you really get by going on strike? It's That's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. Um, uh, He's a super tech. We had it playing a minute ago. I don't even know. Let me see if I can fire up all the all the tunes. So what would you guys all get into this week? I got into uh, we rebuilt an exhaust fan at work. And if you watched my Instagram, I was doing the jerk in the box. Tink, 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 but the, it didn't pop up. My coworker called me an idiot. <laughs> I have way too much fun working. Uh, you know, we're safe. We work safe and we, we're professionals, but you got to have fun too. The bottom bearing on that exhaust fan, we had to grind off. We got the top one off. The bottom one was a no-go. We had to grind it off with the grinder with the cutting wheel. It goes so fast if you just grind them off. Just cut it off the cutting wheel and move along. Um, we got offered 70 for an hour and pension increase and health care increases, six-year contract also. And our union declined it. You guys are nuts. You guys make way more than we do. We're not even close to 74, bro. We'll, I think at the end of five years, we might be at 70 with what they offered us. You guys got a hell of a deal there. I don't know why they declined it. That's fucking nuts. Let's, let me read this one more time, Tito. 74 an hour, pension increase, health care increase, six-year deal. Man. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's where we're at. I think we got offered over five years. It's over 20% pay raise over five years. So I was like, damn. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Oh, let's Mr. Freeze got into the R290 beer box. Normal leaker. Yep, those evaporators is the leak like sieves. Mr. Freeze in the Jersey Shore checking in. Hey, Mr. Freeze, you're on the Jersey Shore. Do you ever watch Ben Gravy? He's like the guy that surfs all over Jersey right there and has a YouTube channel. Excellent YouTube channel. That kid, well, he's not a kid. He's in his 30s. Um, maybe even approaching 40. I'm not sure. He serves big waves over the Oregon coast, Hawaii, everywhere. The guy's the real deal. You got to check out his channel. Really entertaining channel. He surfed in every state in the United States because you can river surf. A lot of rivers. And uh, he's out there in Jersey. Lives in Jersey, surfs in Jersey all the time. And he surfs novelty waves and stuff. Great freaking channel. Ben Gravy. Yeah, the gravy. Installed a five-ton package geo unit and had to rebuild the whole supply and return trunk that sounded like fun hvac nj do you own your own company well yeah i so i have i work full-time at the university as an hvac mechanic and then i have my own refrigeration business norcal refrigeration in hvac one man one man show tito's got the kaiser going Installing captive air MPU. All right. Worked on a, a Rauch 40 ton piece of junk for eight hours. Told him I need two days and don't guarantee nothing. Perfect. 
Mr. Freeze. Yep, also grew up with Dazzer Dan. X Pro Surfer. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Jersey's got a unique surf surf culture over there. Waves get hollow. It's cool stuff. We have beach breaks that do that over here. Like we got some really good beach breaks that'll get like pipeline, but those guys will kick your ass if you put it on video. I think they, I think they even stormed some dudes one time with baseball bats, dude. They were trying to get their little Ah, I surf. I'm a pro. Get the cameras down here. I think those dudes took the baseball bats down there. I won't say where it's at. We'll just keep it a secret. Oxnard Shores 805 worked in the morgue for the first time. We used to do, uh, when I worked for the refrigeration shop in town, we did all the, the crematories and all that stuff. It was It's a trip working on that stuff, man. I would always try to tell them to, like, get the customers out of there, you know, if I had to come work on it. Um, and they were usually pretty courteous. They'd keep everybody covered up or move them out of the way. Um. It just makes it gets your brain thinking of all kinds of shit when you're working on those. Uh, let's see, Roger Gregory, Dave, did I drink the R22 yet? I have a six pack for show. Laugh out loud. <laughs> I need to. I need. I should go to the fridge and grab them and show everybody. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do. Maybe that would make a good video. I'm probably low on content for next week. Should do a video on the R22 IPAs. Roger, where what brewery was that from? So Roger sent me these cans of R22 IPA, and it's the same color as the R22 tank. And it says R22 on it, IPA. Um, dry suits, winter, and Vaseline, Mr. Freeze. Yeah, we don't have to do dry suits out here, but you could get away with the 4.3 in winter and booties and a squid lid. I think the lowest water temp is like 48 here. It'll go between 48 and 51, and then in summertime, it's like 56. So it's pretty much 4-3 year-round. Um, a lot of guys will do a 5-3 wetsuits. We're talking wetsuits. Me and Mr. Freeze are talking surfing wetsuits. Um, let's see. I'm catching up. Dave, I have to go. Please take care of yourself. Have a wonderful weekend. Later. All right, Gabriel's AC care uh happy easter have a great weekend we'll check you on the next one eddie morgues are dead end jobs <laughs> laugh out loud <laughs> yes they are greasy you get uh it's oily in there from our skin inside the uh they have these little walk-ins with the rollout trays and stuff it's a trip to work on luckily it's just a bad condenser fan motor but they were warm, and it didn't smell great. Laugh out loud. Ah, I bet it was terrible. Oxnard Shores, 805, working on the cadaver rooms. We have a we got a cadaver freezer at work, and we have no spare gear. And I don't even have an open account to get a compressor at nighttime. <sighs> and I've talked about that with the bosses. I need to follow up on that. That thing needs a new condensing unit and a new evaporator coil and some spare parts. Now watch, I probably just jinked myself and the phone will ring tonight. Yellow Garage Pails in the house. Hello, everyone. Roger Gregory, a local brewer in Sarasota, Florida. I got them when I was in Florida. The R22 beers from Sarasota, Florida. HVACR Realist. Dave, why are you such an animal? I'm not an animal. I'm paying for kids' as college. I am. Um, and the reason I do that is because I had a shitty childhood growing up. So if I could help my kids out, no one was there to really help me out. So I'll help my kids out. So I'll work and help them get through school. And the daughter turned out great so far. So she made it through Johns Hopkins. She had a scholarship. And she's a researcher now. So she has a good job at a university. And the son's going to be a senior in college next year. And he got accepted to a graduate program for one year. And he's uh, electrical engineering. So, hey. You bring them into this world, at least if you could take care of them a little bit, maybe they'll be decent human beings. But, yeah, it's that's why I'm working all the time. And there's still no, even even if I wasn't paying for kids' school, there, there still probably wouldn't be any money at the end of the month. It just goes in and out so fast, it's crazy. Back HVAC, big top brewing, total, total wine has them. 
Okay. Let's see what else we got there. I got them when I was in Sarasota, Florida in January. And I got the killer shirt from Florabama. Florabama's on my bucket list for motorcycle rides. It's like a big old bar restaurant on the border of Florida and Alabama. You could be in Florida. You could be in Alabama. Right. You could probably split your legs and be in both states at the same time. While having... They make some crazy slushy drinks is what they're famous for. But I think they cut you off after one or two of them. I think you get all bobo on those things. Ah, uh, Nathan says I'm a good man. Ah, uh, you know, you get used to working. When you're younger, working all the time is a pain in the ass. You get older and it's you kind of relish it. But when you're younger, you're looking for other stuff to do. Like, are the waves up? Man, I'd, I'd rather be up surfing than working right now. And then you get older, you're like, yeah, let's go find something to fix and make a buck. It's a trip. Um, let's see. Mike Stevens, East Texas. I think I told you guys, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to Texas in October. I think I'm going to go to Austin and then ride out between Austin and Dallas for the Born Free Motorcycle Show. They do one here in Southern California and then they, they do one out in Texas now. And I want to go to the Texas one with my buddy Eric that lives in Austin. So, um, trying to get it together even if i i want to ride my bike out there but even if i end up flying out there i think eric has extra motorcycles so i could potentially fly out. dude check out this funny story the last time i flew out there so i flew to austin and we did the guinness book of world records longest harley davidson parade and we broke the record and we got in the guinness book right so i get to the airport and all i have is a backpack and my motorcycle helmet and it's Austin Airport, it's outside, it's October, it's hot. And I'm waiting for them to pick me up in the truck. And there's people everywhere lined up outside waiting for their cab or their Uber or their friends or whatever. He pulls up in the truck, he rolls the windows down and he goes, Hey, pig fucker! <laughs> That's what he yelled. Everybody in there is staring at me. I couldn't believe it, dude. Oh my god, he blew me up with the old, hey, pig fucker. <laughs> oh my god. And then he took me to Terry Black's barbecue. Oh, that was good. Ted should, plot, should supply you with $100 bills to clean flame sensors, Roger. There you go. That's right, Roger's out there in South Carolina. Oh, uh, ride the hill country, Mike Stevens. Yeah, if um the Austin Hill Country, I'll have to I'll have to hit Eric up for that while I'm out there for sure. If I ride my bike out there, I will for sure. All right. The silent tone victor is in the house. What's up, NorCal Dave? We're just doing the live stream, hanging out. Hanging out with the live stream. Live stream of Jima. I was reading about how they're trying to decarbonize everything, but I think there's still hope for us. I think there's still going to be a bunch of bunch of natural gas left. How's everyone's weather doing out there? It got cold and stormy here again. Could actually go snowboard tomorrow. I think they got another 12 to 14 inches, so it'd be a good snowboard day tomorrow up in the mountains. But I don't have a vehicle right now. The wife got rear-ended. I didn't even tell you guys this. The wife, Last Thursday, the wife got rear-ended going to work. I'm hoping they can fix the car, dude. It's just uh, like a 2018 Hyundai Tucson. But it's a cool little car, and we got it used. And I haven't had a car payment for like 10 freaking years. And finding used cars is, you know how that goes. So I'm hoping they can fix it. So I don't have a rig to get up to the snow right now. <laughs> I'm not taking the Van China up there. I could. I bet. I, I bet it would make it. I don't have any chains of in case they got chain requirements. I could probably probably get some. That'd be rad to take that thing up there. But I don't I don't want to risk it. 41 degrees in North Georgia this morning. That's about the how we were this morning. 41 and about a high of like 52, 53. Rain in Vegas this weekend. Yeah, you're it's our storms come right to you, Tom Tyson. We get them, then you get them.
Sean McLean is in the UK. My mom's from the UK. My mom's from Nottingham, England. She's still a British citizen. She's not. She never became an American citizen. My dad's American. I was born here. My mom immigrated over here, but she kept her British citizenship. She can't vote. Yeah, she's still alive and ticking. Oh, we got Brazil in the house. All right, Mr. Lira's in the house from Brazil. That's bitching. We're uh, we're like worldwide. That's my motorcycle song right here. This is a good one. 70 degrees in Greensville, South Carolina. 67, North Carolina. Get your friends together. Wow. Let's do this right. So you guys are actually having a... You guys are getting springtime. Not too shabby. The one thing they didn't have in the contractor rag this month was I didn't see like there's nothing for new tools, so I don't know what the hell's going on with all the tool stuff. It's always nice to look at this crap and see the new tools. Let's go ride. Screw working. And then the weather's all crap, so you might as well work. Look, everything's going. Everything's going. Mini split. Inverter. Get your York inverter. Look. York. Those air cons I get are probably last just as long as this garbage. But uh, ever since, uh, let me turn this off. Ever since Craig's book came out, the mini split book, the Cooper Hunter, I, the price on that Cooper Hunter stuff's really cheap too. And I think I've installed three or four Cooper Hunters, and uh, not too bad. I saw where they got a new design where the on the mini split ceiling cassettes, the whole bottom's gonna drop out, and you get. The blower wheel motor and drain pan all off two side connectors and it's going to drop out and then that's going to be for cleaning and all that stuff. Oh, it's going to be a dream design. And I think Cooper Hunter has it on their website. You could check it out. The new ones that are coming out and it's just going to be drop down. Pink. You get the blower wheel, blower motor and the drain pan with it. So, man, it just looks like things will be looking up when that comes out. 68 degrees in Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, yeah. Good music. That was a good one. How's it going? Master NorCal. Big what's up from Huntington Beach. Positive Roots. Hey, Mr. Positive Roots. It's going good, man. It's rainy up here. Rainy and chilly. Oh, let's see. John in the UK says Nottingham is a nice place. Weather here is rain and more rain. Laugh out loud. Yeah, we're getting the rain, too. 78 degrees in San Antonio, Texas. Wow. that That's like my summer high temperatures right there. Um, Mr. Positive Roots, I've installed a lot of Cooper Hunter brand. Not a bad manufacturer. Yeah, not bad at all. I've done a, um, I used to sell that Aircon brand. And uh, dirt cheap, last, it works. Um, and I could get parts from those guys that like pay less mini splits out of Florida. I never had a problem getting parts for the aircon stuff. And I think I actually got their phone numbers. I actually ended up getting their phone numbers. And those kids were good to talk to and get parts from. But I think the last three or four I did were the Cooper Hunter. And it wasn't bad at all. And the only reason I did that is because Craig's got the book. I was like, well, shoots, if I got the book, it's like having the manual for those things. Um, why not? And then at, at the day job, we got a million of the Daikin. Ugh, Daikin, dude. Hey, Dave, have any plans to upgrade the service van? No, I don't have any plans to upgrade the service van, but man, I did take a look at what used vans cost and new vans cost and all that kind of stuff, and I was just like, oh, man, I hope the Vangina stays on the road. It's only got 103,000 miles on it, and those little Chevy Astro van, what's that motor, the Vortex? From everything I've read and looked at, man, people swear. And that was a good motor. And so hopefully it will uh, 
it'll hang in there because I really don't want to mess with another van, honestly. And I always could, I could always try and get another uh, surplus van from the university. I think there's, there might be a couple full size Fords back there for sale. But uh, we'll see. Dave Johnsola's in the house. Johnsonola. Better the devil, you know. Mr. Freeze, my house has EG electronic solar powered hybrid mini split. Their units saved money for solar panels and quick connections. Oh, so you're running. You got. Oh, okay. So they're solar powered hybrid mini splits. That's killer. Like I said earlier in the show tonight, I'm all for this stuff if we could figure out how to make it work. I had a 500,000. Oh, I had over 500,000 miles before I wrecked my 2000 Astro. That's a lot of miles, man. Wow. Is my internet working or is it or is it lagging? It looks like it's lagging on my end. Let's see if it refreshes. Wow, 500,000 miles on an Astro van. So then, shoot, mine should last in there. I, I got to work on the driver's door right now. The pins are worn out. So I ordered new door pins and bushings. I'm going to try and tackle that next week. My guess, what irks me about natural gas is that it's from nature, from the planet. It's there whether we use it or not, and we should keep on using it. I totally agree. Oh, my stuff's choppy and lagging. It's probably my internet. My internet's choppy and laggy. That sucks. We're having like a little storm go through. Let's see if it'll, uh, let's see if it'll refresh and get back in the game. Lagging. Oh, my crappy internet. I need to upgrade my internet for sure. It's showing full bars on the computer, but I use my phone. I use the phone for the broadcast because, dude, the iPhone works killer. But choppy and laggy. Hey, Dave, thanks for the videos. Because of you, I ordered a Tippins bag all the way to Denmark. Yep, Tippins is a good little tool bag. The Tippins Big Brother, the XXL, is amazing. I have it at the day job. Uh, it's, Mr. Free says it's like watching an old Chinese movie. Hey, you want to fight? Fight me. <laughs> oh, man. Seen insane prices on old Astro vans with many more miles than yours. Oh, it's crazy. The whole The whole car industry is a joke. They're about ready to tank, though. Because of the interest rates, if you go look at cars, there's websites you can look at. They got cars sitting on lots for over 150 days. I think Dodge is choking hard. They got Dodge trucks that have been sitting there for over 200 days. So, yeah, they're, yeah that's what they get for jacking everything up. Now the interest rates went up. Now they're choking on it. So, Tom Litch. I just got my son the XXL. It is definitely well built and already feels like it has five extra pounds of material. The XXL is a killer tool bag. No zippers to break. You know the ones for the the meters on the side pouches. I don't I don't count those zippers breaking. They look pretty good. But yeah, I'd love that tool bag. The XXL. I like Tippins too. I joke around with Tippins a lot, but honestly, I love that tool bag. That tool bag is killy. Uh, stormy up here in northern Sonoma County. Yeah, it's stormy in Santa Cruz. Dodge doesn't make cars or trucks. They make turds. Oh, yeah, they're terrible. It's funny. I, I got sucked in one day to watch those videos on those camper vans. You know how everyone does a little camper life on YouTube. You get sucked in. Some of them make really good videos, you know. They got their drone flying, and they're showing you the scenery and they're going on a hike and i made the parody video of the 36 years of van life and god the ones that have those dodge pro masters there's dudes and girls their motors already fried they're spending 17 grand on a motor change 
and the thing's barely got like what 90 80,000 miles yeah that the dodge seems to be pretty junky powertrain and i guess it's made by fiat I'm currently installing lighting for a storage company. They have around 14,000 cars in excess because sales are going down. Imagine dealers paying for storage for brand new cars. Oh, yeah. They're paying interest on every one of those cars every month. You know, what's a working man could afford for a car? 20 grand, 25 grand? Not 60, 80. But some of those trucks were $90,000 for a pickup truck. What a joke. Yeah, the Pro Masters are chunk. That's exactly the ones I was, I was watching on those um, on those videos. Was the Pro Masters just? And there are some guys on there that are like really mechanically inclined that will rebuild the motor themselves. That was pretty cool to see. Yeah, anything Chrysler's junk, far out. I've never owned a Dodge. We've had Chevys, we've had Fords, Toyota, Toyota, good stuff. Uh, we had a Nissan that got wrecked, and then we got the Hyundai. Then the Hyundai got wrecked, but hopefully it's still on the road. But and then my yeah Chevy for work for work trucks. My whole career has been Ford or Chevy, but and I I could honestly say that they've both been about the same. Just take a whooping. Um, Mike B, what's up? My how many Toyotas did I have? Because you know I was a little surf rat, so the Toyota truck was. It was bulletproof when you're young. So I had the 22R engine. I had two of those. And then I had a 4Runner that I sold when I got the Vangina. I sold it to a friend's kid because they needed a truck. And I was like, I got no parking. Why don't you buy my... And I bro-dealed him. I let him have it for like two grand. It was like a 91 4Runner. <clears throat> and uh, that was good, too. I used to run service calls out of the Forerunner. It was hilarious. Oh, my Wi-Fi looks terrible. How long have we been at this for almost an hour? Should we call it the weekend? I got a video coming out Sunday. Um, Sunday morning, I'll have a video. I think I got the one. I got a video up there right now for the membership that's walking up the pyramid when I was in Mexico in January. But it'll be available for everybody, I think, tomorrow. I gave the... I gave the membership a little sneak peek, um, and then it'll be available for everybody tomorrow walking up the pyramid. It's kind of cool to see how the pyramids were built. It was a lot of work. Um, and then Sunday, I had a refrigeration video, and uh, had a 77 Celica with the bulletproof 20R. Yeah, I had the two pickup trucks, 22R engine. And I sold one of them with over 300,000 miles, and it only it only needed brakes changed. I always would do the brakes on it myself. The crankshaft sh shaft seal I did twice, and one clutch. I put one clutch in that thing. And probably still on the road. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm gonna, I gotta work on the Wi-Fi, see if we can get the Wi-Fi going better because i'm watching i'm watching what you guys are watching on my screen and it does it looks terrible so i apologize for that let's roll it out with the with some tunage you guys want to hear the knees in the breeze song it's more motorcycle reggae it's i record those i do the drum i do the drum first and i have the bass line in my head and then I play the bass line of the drums. Knees in the breeze. All right, you guys. I got my knees in the breeze. And I'll Happy be Easter. How do we get? We'll try and do this again next Friday night. Knees in the breeze. I got my knees in the breeze. And I'm feeling okay. Ooh, yeah. You had a bad day. You're feeling down. No one around to bring you around You need to pick your head up And get it straight In the breeze I got my knees in breeze And I'm feeling okay Ooh, yeah. I get on my bike, I go for a ride If then I ride
nothing in this world works to get your head straight. Get up.